All right. <laughs> Hope I don't make anybody dizzy with this. And it's unfortunate that the GoPro, you know, unlike a phone, I can rotate it where you can just see the the dial itself and not everything around it. But uh, what I want to share as I do this shoot uh, tonight, I'm not going to do the shoot uh, live because there's just too many wires and too many things I got to <laughs> got to try to navigate around and uh, I'll forgo the uh, painful experience of that. But um, I really want to, you know, I'm excited to share with you, though, uh, this scene that I created. And let me kind of by hand act like a dolly <laughs> and pan around the set. What what my intention is with this set is to create a sense of forced perspective, a sense that the hallway is really long from looking at the action figure all the way down the hallway. You get the idea that he's standing, you know, in the middle of this hallway and there's just, you know, a hundred feet behind him or so. And the way that I'm doing that in this shot, there's there's three real things that I'm depending on to help create this uh, shot. One is from the action figure to the door, there's only 18 inches. So what I did is I 3D printed and created that door two inches shorter than the action figure, which is, you know, seven and a half inches tall or so. Um, and so that's one way that I do it. The next way that I create the sense of perspective is I take these two dial panels that I made and I have them wider at the front and I just bring them close together at the end. Uh, barely, uh, you know, leaving enough, you know, just the door visible down there at the end. That's another way that I create the sense of, you know, that this is like a really long hallway. Um, Another way that I'm going to do this is the lens choice that I use when I shoot this image uh, tonight. Um, I'm going to use a 35mm um, lens and, and it has a minimum focusing distance of 11 inches and I'm going to be right at 11 inches and I'm going to be in uh, portrait orientation. So the camera is going to be vertical and that's going to also help really uh, exaggerate the the length of the hallway for me. So there's, you know, uh, and also another one uh, that I overlooked is lighting. The lighting for this shot really is coming through a single piece of foam core down onto uh, the action figure. There's no lighting in the middle of the hallway. So there's lighting in three stages. In the front, uh, or in two stages, I'm sorry, in the front and then in the very back. There's no lighting in the middle. And so that also helps kind of give the idea that this is, you know, really far. Hey, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Yeah, and, and so lighting in the front and lighting in the very back also helps create the idea that this is a shot that there's a lot of distance between the front and and the rear of the frame, even though it's only 18 inches. So, you know, um, those are a couple things. Uh, if you wanna, if you want me to be like the magician that ruins the magic show, let me, <laughs> let me show you. This is all it is, man. <laughs> Two pieces of uh, panel tapered toward the back, and a door that's printed two inches shorter than the action figure. <laughs> There's the trick blown. <laughs> anyway. Did you say you sharpened the glue sticks with a pencil? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, those are, um, if you take, uh, let me see what I have here. The small, the small glue sticks, um, I don't have any in this drawer right here. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I think I do. Oh, no, these are, yeah. Uh, if you take these small glue sticks, which are 0 0.44 inches by 4 inches, and you just put them in a regular pencil sharpener, the kind that you hold in your hand and twist, what it does is it creates a beveled uh, front of the glue stick. And um, <clears throat> let me bring one up here on the screen and show you. And and you can create a, uh, 
spray paint can. It creates that bevel on there. And uh, you can, then you just print out your label and you uh, put your, uh, you know, then you just glue it on to the, um, you glue it on to the uh, glue stick. That's funny, you glue it on to the glue stick. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and the hardest part of that was that stinking sprayer. I just cut a piece, a small piece of wooden round dowel, painted it white and used a Sharpie and put the the dot on there. But it really was, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's not hard to do. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. You can make all kind of aerosol cans, WD-40 cans, whatever, you know, comes in a can. Uh, you can make all that stuff with, with that. So, uh, and it, it doesn't take very long, you know, just get your size, your label right in the printer, uh, in Photoshop and then just print it out. You know, <laughs> it's, it's not hard. Actually, I, uh, you know, I think I, I found that trick on, um, watching some dollhouse, uh, uh, accessory channels um you know things to do with glue sticks or something like that you know uh so it was pretty cool uh and and i think i found that trick out a while back but yeah and i've had those for a while but yeah and these boxes you're right they are pretty let me pick it up and kind of get in on one of them i mean they are pretty cool you know i weathered them and beat them up and bang the corners in and you know and, and here's another one over here you know, uh, and they're just made, I just made those out of a Cheerios box, you know, um, yeah, yeah, make some boxes, man, for sure, I put those links up, too, uh, for you, if you don't want to fuss with that website, you can just click on the link that takes you to my, the one that I created, you could just download that, it's a JPG, and print it out, and, uh, you know, it's really easy, man. They're already sized and everything for you. you. So it just saves you the time of having to go in and size it, you know, and figure out which one you want. The website has a lot of templates like Chinese food boxes and donut boxes and whew, all kinds of different boxes, man. I just needed a basic old box. <laughs> but but it uh, worked out nice, man. Uh, you know, I'm happy with them. And, um, you know, and I even put the little tape you can see the little tape on there, so it looks like it's been sealed. <laughs> so, you know, I went went all out with it, man. You know, but you can never have enough boxes, man. Uh, they, you know, like I said in that video, it just really kind of fills out your scene in a way that's that's nice, and uh, and it's easy to do. And you can make so many of those things, man. And you know, in a couple hours on a rainy day, you can knock out so many boxes, man, uh, of different sizes that you won't never uh you won't never uh be without you know <laughs> for sure but in your end i'm gonna do the photography on this uh set here here in just a little bit uh and i 3d printed that door in the very back down there and then i cut a piece of plexiglass sort of a frosted piece of plexiglass and put on there and then i just with black acrylic paint i just painted a uh, silhouette of a figure so that it looks like somebody's way down there. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but it looks like somebody's way down there in the in the room, you know, in the hallway. <laughs> kind of cool, you know. Uh, just trying to find lots of ways to create the sense of perspective in this shot, you know, uh, and, and give the sense that there's, you know, just some more, another layer of drama and perspective and depth to it you know because you know this photography they were doing it's usually only on like a 12 inch piece of foam or something and so it can look kind of flat you know and I figured well let me let me figure out some ways to add some excitement to this and uh so hopefully I hopefully I did <laughs> at any rate uh but I'm gonna get off here and get to photographing this scene and stay uh oh yeah you can see the figure in the door right on <laughs> yeah you know and that's just let me take the gopro around there and, and show you without making everybody dizzy you can see my technical setup it's held up with a creamer can and there's some christmas lights behind the door and i've got my my normal 
main light up on top with the uh, the uh, grid under shining through the foam core uh, and so yeah it's pretty cool uh, most of my lighting setups are I say they're simple but you know it's maybe <laughs> I think they're pretty simple I do have a couple GoPros on the sides but I'm not going to use them because the more light I throw into the hallway, the less the illusion of, of distance is. You know, it kind of creeps in there and and uh, diminishes that perspective that I'm trying to create. So I just, I'll leave those GoPros off and uh, we'll just light it like it is. And, you know, I even did some conduit here. I don't know how well the GoPro will pick up all those nice ridges and detail in that conduit. But I, man, I, these conduits came out really nice. I've got some breaker boxes that I'm building in in, in the uh, software. And I'll print out here shortly too. Uh, with some wires and cables hanging out of them. Look, it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, I think all these things, you know, they add so much to the scene. You know, um, and some of those things you can only... Yeah, that, some of those things you can only see... I mean, you can only make with 3d printing you know i can't make a breaker box with with conduit and all that stuff coming out of it uh and have it look halfway realistic with clay or anything so some of this stuff i have to 3d print but whatever i do make you know like boxes and stuff like that i i, I love the process of that but but uh, at any rate so i'm gonna get off of here you can see i got a little pile of bricks there in the back let's see what we got real quick there's my shut off valves and some piping there's a pile of brick i made that can that gas can with polymer clay and that gas can is 3d printed and uh yeah cool right on so i'm gonna get to photographing this man and we'll put some pictures up here but uh at any rate you folks have a good night i appreciate you chiming in snap face uh take care have a good night and uh, I'm going to get off of here.